What's up YouTube? This is Skill Corda 45. This is going to be my first video. Kind of excited. I've uh, been watching a lot of YouTube videos and seeing a lot of people do this type of stuff, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, mainly what I'm going to do is just uh, product reviews, different kind of things that I buy. I'm just going to put them up here and tell you what I think about them. Good or bad. I'm not here to promote anything or say one product's better than another. It's just if I buy something and I like it or hate it, I'll let you know. I might do some things like movies, uh, anything that just comes up. What kind of got me thinking about this was a lot of the Air Jordan shoe reviews. And so I thought I'd start right there. And if you like what I do, and like my videos, then subscribe, you know, leave comments, tell me your likes, dislikes. I appreciate all that. You know, I want to get better. And here we go for the first, first video. Uh, just bought the uh, Air Jordan Retro 12s, the ones that came out April 21st. And uh, been a big Jordan fan all my life. Uh, I was buying Jordans, uh, the original Jordans, the fours, the fives, the six, sevens, the eights. And then I kind of didn't buy some for a while. And then I bought the last pair I bought years ago were the 13s. And then you know, I wore them. I don't leave them in boxes. I wear them, play ball in them. Uh, so, uh, more recently, uh, I bought some more of the, the retros, and I'll be showing a few of those. Um, but I'm going to show these first. These are the Retro 12s. Uh, never had a pair, so don't know what the originals are like. Uh, and you've seen these before already on YouTube. There's been several videos done. I'll give you kind of my take on it. And people talk about quality, and I think quality is important. You're paying a lot of money for the shoe. Uh, it should hold up. Uh, the leather on the shoe is not bad. Uh, it's not the best. I've seen worse, but at least it is leather. It's not fake. Uh, but it's a little stiff, a little hard. Uh, maybe need some time to be broken in. I haven't worn these at all. Uh, but uh, it's got this uh, pebble low here. Uh, up on the side. Uh, the toe box and on the inside. And you can feel it. It feels like that skate snake skin. Everybody's talked about that. Uh, I, my understanding, I'm, I didn't have the originals of these. So my understanding that was a little more textured. Uh, notice on this pair it seems more textured on the inside than on the outside. Um, and it's just basically white and black. Uh, of course it has the two written here with the three at the bottom. And the Jordan Jumpman. I always thought the bottoms of these were pretty cool. Uh, the one change is this is red on this retro. And I believe the original was uh, black. So that kind of stands out on the toe. You can really see that that kind of pops out a little bit better. So I kind of like that uh, addition. They always do a little bit different on the retros. They make little changes. So that's one of the changes they made. Um, one of the big things that I didn't like that the retros I thought were really cool is these silver tabs here, these eyelets. Uh, they are metal on the originals. And I thought that was a cool touch for the originals. These, of course, are plastic. Uh, so I don't know how well they're going to hold up. Uh, the shoe should hold up pretty good um, with the carbon fiber down at the bottom. I always thought that was a cool touch to, this, to these type of shoes with the technology and it's still being used today. Uh, overall I think it's a good shoe. You know, if you like the shoe, uh, it would be a good one to go and get. Um, a nice pull tab, has the, the writing there. The quality inspired by the the greatest player ever. That's what it says back there. And then the 23. 
they're going to come up with a couple different versions of the shoe. Uh, they're going to have the obsidians, which are blue basically, and then they're going to have some gray ones. The obsidians are going to be similar type of leather, and then the gray ones are going to be, I believe, a new book. And I'm not a big fan of new book. I think new book's harder, harder to take care of than leather. Uh, hang tag's pretty cool. You know, it's pretty thick. That this part's pretty thick, so that will you can use that and hang it up somewhere. And then this little piece is plastic, very thin. Uh, a lot of people are uh, are interested in the box. Let me show you that. I, I like boxes. I think they're cool. Part of the shoes. This is the newer box. The black. The black box. We've seen these. Uh, if you're into the shoes, you've seen this before. Uh, one of the cool things is the little fingerprint. You can barely see it on my camera. There it is. It shines up a little bit. You see the fingerprint down on the bottom left. It's pretty cool because it is, it's raised and you can actually feel it. So that's a pretty cool touch. I like that. Um, the box has these little clips in here that kind of kind of keeps it closed, so it's a little harder to open. And they're just pieces of paper, pieces of cardboard. Right? Yeah, kind of pull it. At least hold the box shut. Uh, the paper is pretty cool. I always like when they do the paper with the writing. I haven't had a good look at it. Let's see if I can read what it says. says things like flight, um, has some Asian writing on it, some other things. So full paper. I like when they do stuff like that. I like little touches like that. Um, and on the back here, on the back side of the box, and you won't be able to see this, but well, you can kind of see it. You can see the writing there. It says the same thing that's on the shoe. It's uh, back of the shoe that I just read. So pretty cool box, pretty sturdy box. Has another uh, jump man right there. You can see that jump man. Um, it's darker, so pretty cool box. Um, overall, if uh, you like that the the Jordan 12, and you want to get a new pair, um, I would suggest you get them. They're nice, pretty simple, and that's what's always been cool about Jordan. It's always pretty simple. Uh, I always like the older kind, uh, up till Jordans 1 through 14, basically, I think are the Jordans that uh, that I like to go after. Uh, I'm trying to get a few um, of those type of sh shoes. I'd like to get the OGs. I think the OGs are, are cooler just because they're older. But uh, sometimes people talk about the quality, and I think a lot of OGs are probably better quality overall but it's not that big of a difference I think it's just sometimes the leather is a little bit better things like that uh, but if you like the video subscribe uh, leave your comments uh, you know I didn't go over the shoe a lot of detail because you've seen it before it's the same shoe I'm just kind of giving my comment about it uh, I do wear my shoes so I'm going to do a lot of videos and when I wear them I'm going to do those type of videos. I have about two or three pair that I've worn here recently and uh, I'll be putting up what I think once I wear them and how they look and how they hold up. And I'm not playing ball anymore like I used to. Too old now. But uh, I can kind of tell you what they feel like when you just wear them. And then I'll talk about things about how to take care of them better. Uh, I've learned a, a lot of things through a lot of other people and then kind of applying my own uh, way of taking care of the shoe. Um, well, that that's the end of the video. I didn't want to take up too much time, and I try to I'm gonna try to keep these short. And again, uh, hopefully this will kind of if you like what you see, then we'll I'll just keep adding videos and do as many as I can of things uh, products that I use. And I it's gonna be a vast pro, vast array of products. Like I wear suits to work, so I'm gonna review suits that I wear, uh, all all kinds of different things like that. So, uh, check you out, uh, check you guys out later and see ya.